Blessings to you, people of God. Welcome back to the Righteous Church. I hope you are doing great. So, um, yeah, I'm glad to be back. A lot of things happened, but I want to just short share with you that God is fighting your battle. God is judging your enemies. Everything that happened to you to stagnate you, to fight you, to shame you, to reject you, to make you just um, unable to move, unable to get settled. God is bringing judgment upon your mockers, upon the deceivers, upon the liars, upon your enemies who are fighting you. So God is bringing judgment. I personally have experienced a lot, a lot, a lot of battle, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of spiritual warfare because I'm about to cross over. So spiritually speaking, I have been crossing over um, onto the promise, promised land of the Lord. So I never thought that I my situation is going to change suddenly. So there is a sudden turnaround in the name of Jesus. So there is a sudden turnaround for your situation as long as you hold on unto your God. So I thank God that is fighting your battles. But as for me, I thank God that he has suddenly moved in a way that I have been, you know, uh, just too weary um, to continue hoping, or let me say to con continue um, seeing the goodness of the Lord, because I thought it's impossible. Just in a few days, the Lord has done a lot of things, amazing things um, that he, Satan has been using people a lot this season to put me down and, and just, um, bring me into a light of deception, right? That people just uh, will bring you into certain, you know, situations that you doubt yourself, that you look down on yourself and you really ask God questions. If you have heard him, if he has chosen you, yes, child of God, Jesus loves you. He has chosen you. Despise the trouble. Despise the accusations. Stand strong in the Lord and in his might. Stand strong in his might according to Ephesians 6.10. So God has removed those people out of my life and he's judging them. He's bringing judgment upon them. That is a correction that is taking place, people of God. This is why I'm sharing this with you. God has moved in my situation amazingly so that I have already crossed over. So I'm, I have just come back and I have done what God has asked me to do. So, and I'm going to go into my promised land. I have taken steps. I have done what he asked me to do. So in a moment of time, I am out of here and I am going where God is sending me. So I'm just letting you know, God is not a man that he should lie. He is not a man that he should lie. Satan has, unfortunately, for those who have opened their hearts to him to be used by him, um, Satan has used a lot of people to um, distract me and, um, yeah, just to appear that, you know, I am not, um, you know, uh, um, I, yeah, a prophet of God, that I'm not a seer of God, that I'm not um, a woman of God. So a lot of arrows, a lot of lies, a lot of things, but I have cried out to God and he has delivered me. So I pray for you right now that God is going to deliver you from those people who are blood sucking demons, who only come to receive, only to take as long as sweets them and feeds them. So, and you know, um, and afterwards, they don't care uh, as long as they cannot, you know, hear the good news, hear good things uh, the way they expect it, then they are going to um, just abandon you and leave you. So I can only encourage you bring this in prayer before the Lord. And if God tells you to withdraw, withdraw from them, block them 
and and just that's it right because these are spirits who are fighting their life and they are fighting you so just be aware of those spirits and get out of there block them and until they repent until god uh, is gonna make a way to heal them and deliver them because they are going to crush you they are going to crush you child of god with their depressions with their oppressions um they are going to accuse you they are going to um blame you for everything so they will forget everything you have done for them but you know once it doesn't go the way they expect it then you are the bad person you are the fool right so but it is their own foolishness and it is their own weakness the instability to walk with the lord the instability to trust god therefore they are tossed to and fro so they don't know what to do than to play the blame game so another judgment that is coming upon them whether in your family whether your pastors whether people you have served uh, god is going to remove them and disconnect you so he's going to disconnect you because people have brought shame into your life and tried to keep you bound and tried to keep you small when God has already uplifted you above your fellows. So these are people who are insecure, who are sick, spiritually sick. They are wicked. They refuse to change. They refuse to give themselves unto the Lord. From this people, I can only encourage you just um get out you know get out of those relationships block them um, stop continuing i had to learn this to pour out and pour out and pour out and throw in my purse before swines and allowing swines and dogs to trample on them so judgment is coming okay there is a sudden turnaround that is healing taking place and i pray for you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ that you will receive the breakthrough you are going to receive the healing of your broken heart the same way i have received it just a few days back i'm gonna share this but god has done amazing thing right his grace is just um yeah it just blew my mind how god has delivered me in my mindset right a transformation that took place even after years of walking with the lord but people that has always fought me always um those the same narcissistic toxic people that has been um those spirits i'm talking about the spirits toxicity and 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 you know narcissistic uh, people who are bound to those spirits they are going to um they are going to try to crush you but god is removing right now blockages he is removing those whales um that has blinded you and i pray for you that god is gonna open your heart and your mind the enlightening the understanding of your eyes that you are going to be delivered right now in the name of the lord jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost you are going to receive your healing you're going to receive what god has promised you as long as you give yourself to him and you repent so judgment is upon the enemies there is a sudden turn around god has not forgotten you god has not abandoned you god is faithful even when you are not faithful so just hold on to him cry out to him repent of your deeds repent it is important to repent of your unbelief important to repent that you have opened a door and access for the enemy to sow seeds in your heart the seed of fear the seed of doubt the seed of unbelief the seed of fighting everybody so and 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 blaming them and playing the blame game with them so i just pray for you right now that the judgment of the lord is going to put an end to injustice is going to put an end to blockages to hindrances to those demonic um entities that he's going to restrict them and fight them and silence them for your sake so shall it be in the name of the lord jesus christ judgment is upon your enemies remain blessed i pray that this has encouraged you in jesus name amen